Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today I want to flash back to one of the speeches from last week's Republican National Convention. As most of you know, the Republicans held their official convention last week and they did a really, really great job. There were great performances, great speeches, montages, videos. The president and his family members spoke a few times, as did many Republicans and a lot of real Americans, too. There was a naturalization ceremony. There was speeches from real people, other candidates across the country, people like trying to save torn apart cities like Baltimore. Lots of good stuff in the convention. Way, way better than the Democrat one from the previous week. But that's besides the point. Today, I want to specifically focus in on one of the speeches, one that came out on the second night from Melania Trump. For those who don't know, Melania Trump is President Trump's wife and also the mother of his child, Barron. And of course, Melania is a beautiful, beautiful first lady, very strong, very smart, and very, very wise, too. She speaks like five languages. She escaped communism from her home country of Slovenia, formerly Yugoslavia, and she basically landed on the moon. You could say that because she went from one of the poorest, terrible situations in the world under communism to being in America, the best country in the world, and now she's living in the White House designing the Rose Garden and raising the child of the leader of the free world. I mean, she really, really brought herself up. She's a very, very impressive lady. And her speech was really good. It was a really great speech, very powerful, very positive too. She spoke on a lot of interesting things, saying she supports her husband, saying the country should come together and lots of cool stuff like that. She's basically a model immigrant and a model citizen and just shows like a great rags to riches story. But that's besides the point today. Today, we're going to talk about some of her detractors and some kinds of criticism that was actually expected by many of us. You see, Melania is, again, she's an immigrant, and she speaks with a little bit of an accent, and this is something that comes into contention with a lot of Democrats. The Democrats like to make fun of her and say she can't speak English and stuff like that. That's what we're talking about today. That's what's coming up in this article. This is what the article says. It says, Bette Midler called racist after saying Melania Trump can't speak English at the RNC. So obviously this is wrong for a number of reasons. Most importantly, it's a bit like racist or offensive, or I would say the, at the most, it's hypocritical. These Democrats pretend to be pro-immigrant all the time. They act like they love minorities and want to support all the, the people coming from other countries and stuff like that. But if you don't support Democrats, they don't care. They're going to actually turn on you and say racist, offensive things like this. Like, so what if she has an accent? She has a small accent, but she's still a great speaker. She still speaks multiple languages, like many more than Bette Midler here. For the record, we should talk about that first. Bette Midler is a washed up actress. Uh, she was famous maybe like 10 or 20 years ago. She's very rich from it too. She was very successful, admittedly. She made many, many millions of dollars. She's very, very wealthy. So she's basically a former Hollywood star, washed up, now turned to this like elitist kind of political person. She's very political online now, kind of like almost similar to Alyssa Milano. She's a bit older than that, but she's another one of these actresses that isn't getting enough attention with their career. So they're turning to politics and activism and doing bad, bad things like this. Like her coming after Melania Trump is just really, really bad. I can see why Melania is making these kinds of like scared face in this picture. She's like, it looks like she might've heard Pet say that in the moment, but not really. This is a picture from her speech at the convention. It just happened to catch her with her eyes open. And yeah, here's Bette Midler, just terrible, terrible person. I wouldn't be surprised that kind of idea comes from someone like this. I mean, this is just lowbrow, very, very offensive and hypocritical too. I think that's the worst part is these Democrats pretend they care, but they really don't. Bette Midler is under fire for poking fun at Melania Trump's English after the first lady spoke on night two of the Republican National Convention. The Hocus Pocus actress has even been deemed racist by some after her tweet poked fun at Mrs. Trump's accent and language skills. Oh God, she still can't speak English, Midler tweeted during the Slovenian-born model speech. Okay, a couple of funny things here. I mean, first of all, let's start from the bottom there. Her speech sounded good. Like I said, she had a little bit of an accent. She actually, I remember her missing a few words. I watched the whole speech personally. I happened to be watching the TV that night and it was really good. Like it was especially good for someone that is not English, isn't their first language, you know, someone who hasn't been here their whole lives, but she has been here for a long time. I mean, it's not like she's brand new to America and it's not like she sounded that bad either. Like she clearly was doing a really good job. 
She was maybe a bit nervous. There were a few times she had to miss a few words and get it started again, but she like rolled through it real quick. She had a few mistakes. Like anyone can make a mistake in speaking, in public speaking, especially in these high pressure situations, especially when Melania knew they were going to come after her like this. This was all expected. Like we all said, we knew they were going to come out with some kind of offensive, anti-immigrant, xenophobic, like racist comments like this, which would totally not fly in the other direction. Like if we saw an immigrant speaking with an accent at the Democrat convention and we made fun of it, that would not fly. I would probably get my account deleted. My video would be taken down. Like who knows? I would get punished into the ground. But Bette Midler gets away with stuff like this. I mean, her tweet's still up. She's still you know, unpunished. She still has a verified account. I'm not asking for anything to happen. I think everyone deserves a right to freedom of speech and expression, including on social media platforms. But this is just me holding their biased rules against them. Now, back to the other parts of this segment of the story. Well, Bette Midler's claim to fame right now is Hocus Pocus. That's just a funny point to me. I don't know. I know she was in a lot of other movies and stuff. I can't name any of them, honestly. Like, I thought nothing of her. Like, I just knew the name. Like, everyone's kind of heard that name if you've watched TV and movies before. And yeah, I remember Hocus Pocus. That's the only thing I could think of that she's in. And it's just kind of funny because Here's the thing. Hocus Pocus isn't a bad movie. It's actually a funny kids movie. It's about a couple witches. It's this Halloween story with some kids and witches and stuff. And I watched it as a kid. Like, I'll admit, I liked it as a kid. That's a pretty classic kids movie. But the fact that that's Bette Midler's claim to fame is showing how much her star has waned. Television personality Pierce Morgan snapped back, oh God, Bette Midler is a racist. While author Tim Young tweeted, Bette Midler is a racist piece of what? Pass it on. Not the worst uh, responses. Singer Kaya Jones criticized Midler for taking aim at an immigrant, tweeting, You're classless. Making a racist, rude comment like that to an immigrant? Shame on you, old lady. Praying God heals your wicked heart. This is from Kaya Jones. Very, very respectable account. Beautiful young lady. Another tweet reads, Are you actually mocking an immigrant who became the first lady of the United States for her accent? Yeah, this is what I was saying in the intro, too. Like, This is a very respectable immigrant who rose all the way up to the White House. Uh, Some people tried to comment against that when I mentioned it on Twitter. And I was like, yeah, she's not the president, but I mean, she's in the White House. She has raised the president's kid. She's part of the first family. Like that is a big move for her. That's like me or you landing on the moon. Like literally, it's like, that's how far she's come. She's come from a small communist country in the middle of Eastern Europe And she's gone all the way across the planet up to the top of the White House. I mean, that is impressive. That's way, way more impressive than anything Bette Midler has done. Bette Midler, it was in Hocus Pocus, like some Disney comedy movie where she played a witch, which is kind of funny, actually. Now that I think of it, I remember remember when I compared her to Alyssa Milano earlier. Well, Alyssa Milano played a witch, too. That's a funny coincidence. I didn't realize that, but... Something about these old washed up actresses who played witches in the 90s and now they're like going political in the present. I don't know why that's a trend now, but it appears to be so. While another person wrote, my mother and many immigrants to this country have an accent due to English being their second, third, fourth language. Bette Midler is a xenophobe. Yeah, that's something I would agree with too, especially especially if you go with the liberal logic. Like if you hold their standards against them, this is far worse. Some pointed out that Melania Trump is believed to speak five languages alongside her native Slovenian. The first lady said in a 2016 interview that she also is fluent in English, French, Italian, and German, though this claim remains unproven. Talk show host Ross Kaminsky responded to Midler, how many languages do you speak, Bet Melania, Slovenia, English, French, Italian, and German. So yeah, she speaks five languages. She's a beautiful former supermodel, still in great shape. Like she looked stunning at this speech. And I think that might be part of it. Like these old ladies, they're jealous of pretty people that are more successful than them. Melania is going to be far more famous in American history than someone like Bette Midler. Bette Midler is a crappy actress who, you know, she has lots of money and all this stuff too. I don't get why she just doesn't retire and be happy. She seems so bitter, you know? Libertarian Party candidate Todd Hagopian added, leftist mocking an immigrant from Slovenia who speaks five languages and grew up to become the first lady of the United States of America. How woke of you, Bette Midler? Yeah, very, very similar to our thoughts. However, Midler's joke was defended by some with one tweet reading, it would actually mean something if the people upset at Bette Midler for her bad tweet mocking Melania Trump's English 
didn't support a president who locks up immigrant kids, complains brown and black people have come from bad countries and mocks, well, everyone. This doesn't make any sense. I, I get this all the time, actually, towards me. Like, people think if you're a bad person, they can be bad, too. But they got to realize that you're still bad. You, you, you're not getting away with it because you claim this stuff about someone. Because the other thing is, a lot of times when they use these justifications, like, half this stuff is not even true. Like, Trump doesn't lock up immigrant kids. He doesn't complain about black and brown people. You know, he doesn't say any of this stuff. This is just made up, just like how people make up stuff about other conservatives. Me, I get made up about all the time people saying I'm far right or racist or a 1940s German or something like that. Like they just make up stuff about you to justify their hatred and their bad, bad comments. That's the true way that it goes down. And I think we can all see that now. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Also hit that like button to get this thing shared. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell for notifications too. Until next time, have a great day.